While we get ready for more wet weather in the Carolinas, parts of the area are dealing with the aftermath of an icy morning. So we could see even more school delays and closures tomorrow because of that ice. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner continues our team weather coverage from Burke County. Brandon, a lot of school systems felt conditions today were just too dangerous for the kids to get out. Well, Fred and Sarah, one of those roads they were keeping an eye on, Mineral Springs Mountain Road, where some of the tree line over here and the cliffs up above created slick conditions and multiple car crashes. Twisted metal and chunks of fiberglass are all that's left here. After Highway Patrol says several drivers lost control of their cars at this curve and slammed into each other. Trooper Jeffrey Swagger tells me this road got so slick, one of the tow trucks arriving to help slid into a highway patrol car. He says no one was seriously injured. It's to the fact that we need to be careful with these uh, driving conditions on icy roadways. Yet the numbers show some drivers still aren't listening. Trooper Swagger tells me his troop had more than 150 crashes just this morning, nearly half of them between 6 and 8 a.m. Usually as many crashes as we respond to in an entire day. Those dangerous conditions are why many school systems, including Burke, Caldwell, and Watauga counties, either delayed or even canceled classes. But it could come at a cost. Watauga counties already missed a record number of days due to the snow. Administrators are now debating whether to shorten spring break if they miss any more classes. Caldwell County's already added more minutes to the school day, giving administrators an additional cushion if they have to miss any more school. Troopers also want to remind people that if you're driving and see emergency vehicles with flashing lights, including tow trucks, move over and slow down. Reporting in Burke County, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte. All right, Brandon, thank you.